What's up guys, my name is Sin Nguyen. I'm here with Peter Smith. Welcome to Automotive Economics. In this particular video, we're gonna talk about the seven things we love about the Ford Raptor, the second gen Ford Raptors. The first reason why we love this truck is the powertrain. It is an awesome powertrain for the truck and is very similar to the 4GT. And Peter can tell you a little bit more about it. So what comes in this amazing truck is you get a 450 horsepower V6 and 510 foot-pounds of torque. All coming from twin turbos through a 10-speed automatic transmission that honestly shifts just as fast as any sports car, really. I believe this transmission is shared actually amongst several other brands, including Chevrolet through their Camaro Z01. It's in the new Mustang, and it just shifts so fast and smooth that you don't realize you're driving a truck, and all of a sudden you're at 100 miles an hour. So the second thing to kind of add on to the first reason we love this truck is the exhaust note and the turbo sounds. This truck really sounds not like a truck. It sounds like a truck and a supercar mixed together. The turbo sounds are insane. Like I heard it earlier, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. And the exhaust note, it actually sounds really, really good. I know people are like, oh, it's a Ford Raptor, it's a truck, it needs a V8. It doesn't need a V8, I promise you that. I've never felt this type of sound and feeling in a truck before, especially from a V6, but the two turbos, it makes it so worth it. I, I'm really glad they went away from the, just the naturally aspirated V8. What do you think, Peter? Well, the old V8 felt almost prehistoric. Well, man, it sounded good but it was just sluggish. So having these, I mean, just whistling turbos everywhere, it gives you a whole new feeling to drive in the truck. I mean, you have, oh, I'm in a truck, and all of a sudden you start to climb up a hill and you just hear this huge whooshing sensation and you're kind of like, what? So then, then of course it starts to crack open the exhaust because it does have a valve style exhaust that allows it to either be a little bit quiet and less obnoxious. But once it kind of opens up, say you're in sport mode and you're flying down the highway, it doesn't give you the sensation of you're driving a truck. It almost makes you question it a little bit. Yeah, I questioned it whenever I was driving it earlier. Yeah. Third reason why we love this car is the ride is very, very comfortable. I don't know if you've ever really ridden in a Raptor or in, really in a truck in general. They're not, they're not really smooth. They're kind of bumpy. This truck rides extremely smooth, and I literally felt like I was just riding on a cloud, like a Nimbus or something. Uh, so, what do you think, Peter? I mean, you've lived with it for two so years. Long now. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think with the fact that you can just drive over whatever bump you want at almost any speed, which is kind of bad, it's a little dangerous, but you know, there's no hesitation of, you know, hitting bumps or potholes. You're not worried about bending or breaking anything, but for being such a big shock absorber, it's a three inch shock absorber that has a little over 12 inches of travel, almost all the way around. So you're dealing with a truck that when you think about it, it probably shouldn't ride that great but it just absorbs and soaks up every bump. It does roll a little bit, but I mean, it's a 6,000 pound truck. It's gonna roll, but- As long as it, it doesn't roll over. It, it doesn't roll over, but it definitely hits this weird category of pickup truck where it's almost like a luxury pickup truck. You know, I'd almost call it a super luxury truck. Now it's not some six by six G-Wagon, but who else makes a pickup truck like this? There's the shocks. And they're Fox racing shocks. I'm not sure you can see Especially built for the truck. Yeah, especially built for the Raptor. 
So the fourth reason why Peter and I love this truck is that it handles really, really well, as you can see in this clip I'm about to show you. So I'm taking this off-ramp at like 60 miles an hour, and it's handling really, really well. I mean, it's a Raptor, but still, it's handling really, really well. Just, just a little body roll. Just a little body roll. I mean, it's a, it's a big truck, so I expected a lot of body roll. I was expecting us to do like a few tumbles here and there, but it's... You don't expect it from a truck that's 6,000 pounds. Like, I don't expect it from a lot of vehicles in general, like my Chevy Volt. But I mean, this is a completely <laughs> different animal. Like, it handles more than this truck should. I mean, it literally, the corner we took at like, what, 60 miles 60, an hour earlier? A truck normally would probably almost tip over, but this thing, yeah. yeah, and it handled it perfectly. And I, I'm sure Peter has some few, a few different uh, scenarios where he can tell us. How I mean, I've uh, I've done a mountain run in it, which you don't do in pickup trucks. I took it up, you know, a pretty twisty, turny mountain at you know almost sports car like speeds. You know, given it was it was it was leaning in every corner, but I never felt like I was ever going to lose control of it. Even in some pretty horrendous weather conditions, you know, I was able to maneuver it or do things in this truck that you really shouldn't be able to do in it um, things that you should really be able to do in cars but you know say you turn it on for high it's snowing or you know it's flooding and you're just able to almost drive around like you don't have a care in the world you're going to get there and you're going to get there in a really fun way you know you're going to get there either sideways and it's completely controllable you know you drive it up a twisty turning mountain that's covered in dirt and it just seamlessly goes over it all you know it it just seems to never want to stop driving which it takes a while because that's 36 gallons of gas so it's almost a thousand miles later the fifth reason why we both love this car or truck per se is it makes sense for a car person that needs a truck or wants a truck instead of a super small like miata or yeah. a corvette or camaro whatever and it's useful it has a lot of useful I guess things they can do like haul stuff and literally anywhere and still have fun when you want it to and I mean I'm sure that there's a lot of other options out there but I think this is one of the best options mm -hmm. and I think you can agree yeah I mean it's it fits every niche you could want it has horsepower it has engine noise it has turbos it it just like all our sports cars don't make sense why would you own it why not you know so it still lets you feel special driving something and having fun without having to compromise space. I mean, I can fit 50 inch TVs in the back seats and I can haul a whole apartment around in the back. And you so. can drive it while not matching at all. Exactly. <laughs> the sixth reason why Peter and I love this truck is that the interior is awesome. It has so many things and it has so many features. The panoramic sun, uh, sunroof, and I'm actually going to show you that, guys that right now. Ta -da. So the interior is actually super, super nice. Um, I get very hot when I'm driving and whatnot. So I like that it has butt coolers. I don't like butt warmers. I like butt coolers. And this truck has it for sweaty butts. Sweaty butts. So yeah, it even has these paddle shifters that actually came out of the Ford GT and it looks so good and it feels really good as well so this truck actually has a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug and a 110 plug right there well and it just i mean you can plug your laptop in you can plug your cooler in whatever anything you want to plug in to its 110 outlet right there you can so the seventh reason why we love this truck is that it can literally take any kind of fuel except, well, diesel, because it's not a diesel engine, but it gives you the flexibility of literally being able to go anywhere to fuel up. I mean, even though it costs a little bit, a pretty penny to fill up, I mean, if you have the ability to run like 87 in a truck like this, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I feel like that kind of makes up for it because it's this truck, so. Yeah, I mean, 93 full fuel up is about, $110. It was 36 gallons. So it hurts a bit. 
Thank you so much for watching this video of the seven reasons why Peter and I love this Ford Raptor. If you like this video, please share it with all your friends, like it, subscribe. It helps me bring more content to you guys on a more consistent basis. Again, this is Automotive Economics. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.